Hey, this is Ben. I'd just like to welcome you to a little video I'm putting together. And um, the aim of the video is to uh, show off my uh, app that I've been making for, for college. Uh, my game, it's the WWE quiz that you see on the emulator just here. And basically um, what I'll be aiming to show you in the video is um, that the app does what it's supposed to. So what I'm going to be doing is um, putting in some right answers, some wrong answers, just making sure I get the right result and uh, that we can follow it through to a result at the end. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, on this first one we're going to enter some incorrect information for our answer. Um, what will happen, should happen, is um, the little label just here um, where it says correct or incorrect should show you that it's an incorrect answer once I press the submit button. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see from the list of answers just here, um, Damien Demento is the correct answer. What we're going to aim to do is put in an incorrect answer. So let's go with that world famous grappler and let's have the Undertaker face Steve on that first night of Monday Night Raw. The emulator is a little slow, I do apologise for that, but uh, if we can get the right answer in there eventually, we'll be happy. Okay, so it's come up with Steve. We're going to click on Steve. We're also going to press the delete button because auto this emulator automatically puts in a space after the answer, which would make the answer wrong. So, But hey, we're looking for a wrong answer anyway. But hey, um, Okay, so we've returned to the actual quiz screen. We see we've got the answer of Steve. So we're going to go ahead and press the submit button. And yes, we've got an incorrect answer. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we know that uh, we can enter some wrong answer. And yes, it will tell us that we are wrong. So yep, that's one test done and in the right direction. We also noticed that pressing the submit button does actually work. So that's another test down. Um, what we're going to look now is to move on to the next question by pressing, you guessed it, the next button. So let's see if that works. Okay, at the end of the quiz, where it did display on the last page the incorrect, correct um, label, um, the end of the quiz will tell you your score out of 10. So what we're going to do is skip a few questions because we want to uh, give a fair answer. What we're going to do is skip down to this question just here to make sure it can actually input numbers. So we we'll just do that now. As you can see, the pictures change with the questions as they're supposed to. Okay, this is the question we're looking for. Uh, how many times did The Rock wear heavyweight gold? The answer here so is the number nine. So again, let's type in our qu answer to our question just here. On the emulator, let's change that to numeric. And we've got the number 9 there. So let's return to our quiz and submit. Yes, a correct answer, exactly as we hoped it would be. OK, so what we're going to do now is fast forward to the end of the quiz because we want to get that score out of 10. Um, for those of you watching at home, the answer that we should get out of 10 is that we scored one correct answer out of 10. So let's see if we could do that. Just skip through these last few remaining questions. OK, we're on the last question. So on the last press of the next button should display here a score out of 10. So again, we're looking for 1 out of 10. And there is 1 out of 10. So yes, the scoring result page, uh, that works as well. So. Um, as you've probably seen from the video, uh, all the tests that I've done have worked. Um, the last one to do is the back button. This should exit the game. And there we go. The game's ended. We scored 1 out of 10. A bad result, at really, considering we had the entire answer list right in front of us. But, uh, yeah, all in the name for uh, making sure there's no bugs. So, yeah, this is Ben Martin signing off. And, uh, yeah, a non-buggy game. Woo!